In this video, we'll demonstrate where to find and how to use key parts of a power wheelchair. Hello, I'm Natalie Albertson with the Division of Physical Therapy Education at the University of Nebraska Medical Center. Welcome to the training series for volunteers in disaster shelters. In this video, we'll demonstrate where to find and how to use key parts of a power wheelchair. When supporting a user of a power wheelchair, ask them to assist you as much as possible in finding and using the components demonstrated in this video. They will be more familiar with the chair's particular setup. People with power wheelchairs need to maintain use of their wheelchair even in disaster situations for several reasons. They may lack the strength and muscle control necessary to push and maneuver a standard wheelchair. They may lack the strength and or sensation necessary to reposition themselves in order to prevent pressure sores. Power wheelchairs have a specialty seating system that includes a pressure relieving cushion and tilt feature to promote circulation and prevent sores or they may lack the strength and muscle control to maintain their body position and balance in a standard chair or manual wheelchair. Power wheelchairs can be modified with straps, supports, and cushions to help maintain the upright position and prevent injury. On most power wheelchairs, you will find the following components. A headrest, armrests, foot rests, a battery, and a hand control. On the hand control, you will find the joystick, the on-off switch or button, and the plug-in for the battery charger. The hand control may also have additional buttons or displays. You should consult the individual using the wheelchair or the online user manual for further clarification on their purpose. The battery can often be found underneath the seat of the wheelchair. If the battery needs to be charged, keep the charger away from wet and damp environments. If your hands, the cords, or the plugs are wet, do not attempt to connect or disconnect the charger. To help preserve the life of the battery, if possible, keep it in an environment where the temperature is well regulated. At the back of a power wheelchair, you will find a second joystick called the attendant controller. If the individual needs assistance, the volunteer can use the attendant controller to maneuver the wheelchair. If the wheelchair needs to be manually pushed, the motor will need to be disengaged by placing the power wheelchair into freewheel mode. Placing the wheelchair into freewheel mode is done via levers on the base of the chair. The levers are identified by stickers with lock and unlock symbols. In most chairs, the levers are found on both sides of the chair near the drive wheels. Move each lever into the freewheel or unlocked position. The wheelchair can then be moved by an assistant. Never engage freewheel mode while the wheelchair is on an incline. This helps avoid damage to the wheelchair and injury to its occupant and those in the immediate vicinity. When attending to people who use a power wheelchair, make sure they have adequate space to maneuver their chair. Set up their environment so they have enough space to tilt, recline, and adjust their positioning as needed. Ask them if they will need assistance repositioning, transferring, or performing other activities. If an individual needs help transferring into or out of the wheelchair, make sure the power is off and the motor is engaged. Ensure the levers are in the locked position rather than in the free wheel or unlocked position. With the power off and the motor engaged, the wheels will automatically lock when the wheelchair is stationary. This will prevent any unwanted movement of the wheelchair during the transfer. 
Each person in a power wheelchair will have different needs and preferences when moving into and out of the chair. Ask them about the following preferences so you can help them in the most beneficial way. Their preferred method of being transferred into or out of the wheelchair. Which side they prefer being transferred toward. The amount of assistance they require and the positioning of leg rest, arm rest, and other wheelchair features such as hip guides and lateral supports. All of these features can be removed or moved out of the way if necessary. You should also ask the individual if the seat cushion needs to be moved with them when they are transferred. It is also important to be aware of any other special considerations, like catheter bags or braces, that the individual uses before moving the individual. Thank you for joining us. We hope that you find these techniques helpful as you provide assistance to individuals who use a power wheelchair to maneuver around the shelter.